it is a deal. Fundamentally, um, you still need people to provide an insight into a business. You need somebody to uh, manage and control an environment. But here's the deal. Train a monkey to do accounts. If it's accounts, I'll train a monkey. And now I've got to the point where I'm asking myself, maybe I need MBAs. These guys who qualify, they come out, they think they are God's gift to mankind. I don't care about them. The figures don't mean anything to me. Does it align with my strategy? Does it speak to me? Is the person who's bringing those figures telling me that, Mr. Thompson, we're spending two cities more than we should on fuel. That crankshaft, your engine, there's a problem. We've got to deal with it. And that's the challenge we have. Problem-solving skills. A monkey can do accounts. So don't come and tell me you are qualified, so I should pay you X, Y, Z. And they come with big demands. I want a car. I want house and allowance. Give me a telephone. I don't care. Being qualified is neither here nor there. What I look out for is somebody who can think. Somebody who has think has experience. And experience is not working in a formal environment. And somebody who reads, that's what all ages. If you don't, you know, pass the test, you can have as many degrees as you like. You can have one first prize. I don't care. You're not going to work for us. Um, as an accountant, I'm saying that uh, we need to be more business savvy. But the risk is that as competition intensifies, as we become more global, there's going to be more pressure on accountants to see things in a way that may not necessarily be objective. And that pressure is just going to be increased and increased. Because, you know, we're living now in a 24-7 world, and that's one huge risk.